Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Alpna Mohata, a board certified dermatologist and today I'm going to tell you all you need to know about how to get rid of dark spots on your skin. Now dark spots can happen due to various reasons, either due to acne, following insect bite reaction, due to sun exposure or maybe even following any kind of hormonal imbalance in your body. Now before we jump into the solutions for dark spots, first we need to identify what are the various forms of dark spots. The first and the most important one is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. Now whenever there is any kind of inflammation or trauma to your skin, there is upregulation of these pigment producing cells called melanocytes. They lead to formation of a pigment known as melanin which is responsible for giving the color to your skin. Whenever there is an excessive accumulation of melanin on any particular site on your skin, it leads to formation of dark spots. The second form of hyperpigmentation is sun spots or age spots which are usually seen around the cheek area in the form of freckles due to excessive ultraviolet ray exposure. And finally, the third form of hyperpigmentation which probably over 40% of people in this world suffer from is melasma. Melasma usually presents around the cheek area or around the eyebrows and the temple area. It's triggered by hormonal imbalance and both heat and sun exposure can exacerbate it. In this video, we are going to stick to the first form of hyperpigmentation that is post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation or PIH which is commonly triggered by acne and insect bites. But if you want me to create a video on melasma and sunspots, just let me know in the comments below. Okay, now let's get to the juicy bits. How do we get rid of this post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation? First, over-the-counter treatments. We have 6 to 10 percent glycolic acid in the form of serums and toners which works really well for people who have oily, acne-prone skin with hyperpigmentation. Then we have azelaic acid between the concentration of 5 to 15 percent which also works well for people having sensitive skin and rosacea. It works great for both acne and erythema. And then we have the heavy lifters, retinoids. Over-the-counter retinoids in the form of retinol, retinaldehyde and adapalene work well for hyperpigmentation, especially in people who have aging or mature skin. Now all the treatments that I have talked about so far are better suited for nighttime use because they can make your skin really sensitive to the sun. For daytime use, we have gentle antioxidants like vitamin C in the form of L-ascorbic acid and magnesium ascorbyl phosphate. Now these would be my top recommendations to get rid of even the most stubborn form of hyperpigmentation with over-the-counter formulations. But if you're somebody who wants to try a gentler formulation or someone who just has a generalized mild hyperpigmentation, you can also get away with kojic acid, alpha arbutin and thiamidol. Also, the backbone of every good anti-hyperpigmentation regime should include sun protection. Anything with an SPF of 50 or a higher and PA triple plus rating or higher is good. You should reapply your sunscreen every three hours and use at least two fingers full of sunscreen. I know you have heard it probably like a thousand times, but I can't stress enough how important sun protection is, especially if you're somebody who suffers from hyperpigmentation. Because any hyperpigmentation, and I mean virtually any form of hyperpigmentation, would worsen with sun exposure. Okay, now let me give you a simple routine if you have hyperpigmentation and want to start the most basic kind of over-the-counter medication for us. First, start with a clean slate. Wash your face with a good hyaluronic acid or ceramide containing cleanser. Once you're done washing your face, apply an antioxidant serum over it, be it vitamin C, be it niacinamide, be it ferulic acid. After that, you should use your sunscreen, like I said, two fingers full of sunscreen, and then you're done for the day. And don't forget that sunscreen for your neck is just as important as your face. At night, once you get back home, if you're somebody who happens to use makeup frequently, you should double cleanse to remove all of that sunscreen and makeup and other pollutants and gunk. Apply a good moisturizer that works for you, and then sit in front of a mirror and apply micro dots of either glycolic acid, retinoid or azelaic acid over these spots 
and don't worry about these products getting spilled to the other parts of your skin they are completely safe just make sure that the spot is completely covered now at times retinoids and glycolic acid can make your skin a little irritating and it might start peeling off if that's the case you can use it every alternate night or if your skin is not able to tolerate this much of product you can also use it just twice a week but my advice would be to use these products for at least 6 weeks consistently before expecting any visible results once you start seeing these results you can continue the treatment for another 4 to 6 weeks now while these over the counter treatments are really good they do come with a timeline of 6 to 12 weeks before you start seeing good visible improvement now what if you come to me and be like doc I don't have that kind of time. I have an event coming up tomorrow and I can't go looking like this with that spot on my face. In that case, my first suggestion to you would be to go to your dermatologist and get a prescription treatment. The most commonly used one is hydroquinone. Although it's not available in all countries, but if you live in a country where hydroquinone is available with prescription, usually your doctor would prescribe to you between a concentration of 2 to 4%. You have to use it either as a spot applicator or overnight on your entire face. Just be careful not to use it for more than 3 months because if you use it for longer periods of time, especially in darker skin tones, it can lead to paradoxical hyperpigmentation also known as exogenous ochronosis. In simpler words, instead of your pigmentation reducing, it would start increasing. Often with hydroquinone, you would start seeing results within 2 weeks. Okay but what if your timeline is even shorter and you're like doc I don't have 2 weeks I want results now in that case if you're someone who has a lighter skin tone the best treatment would be a laser there's Q switch laser there's Pico laser and for the most stubborn hyperpigmentation a more deeper and invasive form of laser known as fractional laser is also used It's best suited for people with lighter skin tone because if you have darker skin type at times it can actually burn your skin. For people with darker skin tone a chemical peel is much safer. Glycolic acid peel and yellow peel are two of the most commonly used peels for darker skin type for hyperpigmentation. Often your skin would start peeling within 2 to 3 days of you having used the peel and you will start seeing visible lightening in your dark spots within 7 days. So that's it from my side. I hope I was able to answer all your questions. If you want to know my specific recommendations for products for dark spots, you can check out the description section of this video. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please drop them in the comments section. I'll try to answer all of them. And don't forget to like this video. With that, this is Dr. Alpana signing off.